Hey babes, your girl is back with another video. Okay, so it's Sunday, um, Sunday afternoon, and I was com I was responding to a lot of y'all comments. And what I noticed is a lot of y'all kept asking me question after question after question about the glue. So I did do a video uh previously on what glues I actually use uh to make to turn um basic pieces like this uh like a basic piece like this into an actual charm i mean into a gibbet i'm sorry y'all um and excuse me if i'm not in frame i wasn't trying to show my face it's sunday i look a mess sorry for the broke nail but i felt the need to get this video out for y'all so disclaimer if you're looking for perfection if you're looking for beauty if you're looking for anything other than the information that you need on hence why you click the video <laughs> then honey i don't know what to tell you okay watch some of my other videos get to know me and my personality i am not about all of that i am just about getting you what you need okay that's my whole sole goal is to get you what you need so you can be successful in whatever you're trying to do okay so no intros no beauty no none of that straight to the point fact videos okay period so now that that's out the way let's get back into it so I showed y'all a video prior, um, go check it out. It's how to turn basic pieces into gibbets. This is a flat back piece. And I showed y'all how to turn this into a gibbet. However, some of y'all may have missed it or didn't go back and watch it. Cool, go, go back and view it if you're able to. Um, it helped so many people. But just over the last two couple videos, I noticed where I talked about Crocs or showed y'all how to do Crocs or whatever the case may be. I just had so many questions about what glue do I use and what's the best glue to use for this. So I hope this video helps, but I'm gonna try to jump into it and get you as much as I can, okay? So this is a planner. This is a planner charm. It has a hole in it, so it's actually ready for a charm. However, I sell planners um, on the website that you can get that doesn't have the holes and you can either drill it yourself or not but even with the hole you can still use this obviously for um a gibbet so basically this has a flat piece it's a flat it's a flat back okay um if you wanted to turn this into a gibbet because it's plastic and it has a shine my suggestion first and foremost would be to get a a fingernail file you can get from the dollar tree or wherever nothing expensive you will take this and you will file the back. Now, I'm not going to file the back of this because I'm not using this for a gibbet, okay? I'm not even fast to show you how to turn it into a gibbet. I'm just going over what I use, okay? So, I will take my fingernail enamel and I will just scratch it and get some friction going across the back. So, that way, when you place your clear back piece or your black back piece, your gibbet piece, onto the back of this, then it will stick a lot better if it has some friction because you're taking away some of the plastic coating that's on there, okay? And if I was to do that, um, I would use my E6000 or I would use my mixed uh, media adhesive. The mixed media or the E1000, to me, they both work almost like the same. Um, I don't see too, too much of a difference with these two, so I like to use these two when I'm doing these. It doesn't really matter. Um, which one you choose, but this is the, can you see it? Is it upside down? Oh, I don't know if it's upside down because it's facing me. So let me first and foremost change that just in case. Okay, so this is what I was saying. Now, all three of these are on the website. You can purchase these by clicking the link in the bio. Go under accessories and all three of these are available on the website, okay? So these are the two I was just telling you about. I, I don't mind using these two. Um, once I scratch it off, I add my back piece on. I'll use either one of these two glues to do that, okay? Um, now, if I'm using a patch, I actually prefer the E6000. I do. Um, with the patch, you can scrape off some of the plastic piece if you want to or you don't have to. What I notice about patches is depending on how thick they are, this is the front and this is the back. When you're applying these to your crock, um, I know a lot of people say they scratch their Crocs up. I don't scratch my Crocs at all. I do not put any type of scratching and scrapes on my Crocs. Nothing against anybody who does because I get it. You're trying to apply friction, but I like to apply the friction to my pieces if needed versus 
um, applying that to the crack itself. So I'm not telling you not to do that. I'm just saying I don't personally scrape or scratch up my Crocs itself. As I showed you, I will scratch up the back of this to get friction because if you notice with Crocs, they already are textured a little bit. They're, they don't really have a smooth surface. So there's already a little friction there for the glue to get in between the crevices. So if it gets in in between the crevices of the croc and the piece, then it should stick perfectly fine. You just gotta apply pressure, be patient, hold it there for a, anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute, let it go. And the key to success on not um, having your pieces come right off or come off quickly is allowing your glues to dry. Yes, allow your adhesive to dry for at least 24 to 48 hours before you even touch them. Okay, and then if you're shipping them off to somebody and they're not locally picking them up, give yourself another day. So 72 hours before you even ship that person's stuff out, okay? So if you are a quick turnover time where you're telling people you get your Crocs made in two business days, I would change my policy. I would give my stuff time to dry so you don't have as many complaints. Now, even with that, I mean, y'all, this stuff is not cemented down. Stuff can fall off, okay? They're Crocs, they're pieces. Things can still fall off. Don't let anybody tell you different. I don't care, the best of the best, pieces fall off at some point maybe not all of them but walking and them touching each other or just anything you could be getting in and out of your car just anything can make the little stones fall off okay so yes back into it uh, that's just a word of advice because a lot of people feel like certain people's stuff, depending on how much they pay, won't fall off. Yes, these can fall off. They're, these are glues. They're not cements, okay? Um, and make sure you put that in your policy or in the description that they could fall off. You know, no matter what you do or how how uh, precautions you try to be, they can still fall off. And like I said, with the patches, I like the E6000. It's a little thicker for me, so it kind of holds. But what I do do, let's just say... Let me see. I got a quick, I got a crack right here. So let's just say for this, and this stuff on here, so I'm not really showing you, but as I was telling you, see, crocs already have a texture. You see? So there's no need for me to feel like I have to scratch it. Um, but if I was gluing my crock on, I would have the glue onto the patch. I will put a little glue wherever the area at that I'm trying to put my patch on. And disclaimer, this is not a shoe that this patch is going on. This shoe is already made with just gibbets. I just used it for the thumbnail. Um, but what I like to do is I like to rub mine. I like to rub it in a spot that it's going to be and get the friction going. And then I like to apply pressure. So as you see, I'll do it in like a circular motion. For some reason, it just helps the patch stick and attach to the shoe itself. I don't know why, because before it took me so long to just sit there and hold it and I see it was lifting up all around the sides. Let me know in the comments if you had that same issue. Um, but I noticed once I figured it out, of course we figure it out as we play with things and gain experience, I would just do this and then it would stick better. And I'm like, OMG. So yeah, apply your own friction, put a little glue on the back of this, cover up the back of the patch. And then put a little glue on here, circle it in a motion, hold it down, press on all the sides, make sure it goes down. And then once again, allow it to sit for 48 to 72 hours. No less than 24 if you're in a rush. Okay, so the E6000 is what I prefer for patches. Okay, I'm trying to go everything. So we touched on planner, we touched on patches. Next, metal pieces. And anything you see, I sell on the website, okay? Besides the little Dollar Tree uh, fingernail file, okay? In this little tray. I don't sell the tray. But I sell, so I sell the glues, I sell the pins, and I sell the pieces. Anything else I don't sell, okay? So, now with these pieces right here, these are just pieces I had laying around. This one right here is actually missing stone, so I won't be reselling it. Sometimes that happens in transit from China. But it is what it is, okay? So, I really don't want to... Okay, so these two pieces right here, yeah, I'm covering up a little bit because y'all know people are getting real finicky about um, using the designers or whatever. So, with these metal pieces, they already have friction, as you see. They already have a texture in the back of them. So there's no need to scrape this. I never scrape my metal pieces under no circumstances because they already have a texture and so do the back of the Crocs. What I would do is I would take my glue. Sorry, this came out. Oh yeah, that's why I had it to the side. I'm sorry, y'all. Okay, so what I would do is I would take a 
my i was wondering why did i have a perfectly fine charm just sitting on the side and i was like well let me grab it i know why this one was because i don't sell pieces if i if i'm spot checking and i see this i will not send this to anybody if it if i notice a stone missing okay so that's why this one was to the side i just didn't realize why this one was to the side but as you see oh uh, well this this piece is loose in there um, so it needs to be glued back in. But other than that, it's a perfectly good piece. So I'll re-glue that and resell it. But anyway, back into it, okay? I do tend to talk and explain. Sorry, just a habit of teaching people. When you used to teaching people, you used to explaining a lot. So with this, um, it having the friction and the texture on the back of it. And so does the crack. I usually use... Okay, hold on, y'all. The metal. It literally says jewelry and metal glue. I sell this on the website. It's one of my best selling glues. You know why? Because you can use this for everything. Even though it says metal, you can use this for everything. This is one of my favorite glues. I love it. I love it. I love it way beyond these two. Okay. I use these for the things I showed you and I'll show you what else I use these for. But this right here, you can use for everything. It's fast drying. Yes, it's strong smelling. I do... Uh, for any glue you use, suggest you use gloves, and I also suggest you wear uh, a mask if the if you have sinuses or you can't tolerate smells. Then you probably want to use uh, a mask most of the time. But this is my favorite glue. Like I said, when I use this, I get my Crocs done very fastly because I'm not switching glues. It's small, so it's easy to control in your hand, and I don't have to use my brushes or anything. I can usually take the tip of this. If you saw in any of my other videos where I'm making the Crocs or whatever, you see me using this directly to the Croc, directly to the Croc. So I, this is my favorite, okay? Don't say I never did nothing for you. <laughs> so anyway, you would take this. You would take this and you would apply a little bit on the middle of the crack. Um, if you're turning this into a gibbet, you just need a little little bit right here in the center. And then you will put your gibbet uh, back piece on here. Now, if you were going this right directly down to the crack, which you can, then I would suggest you spread the glue out a little bit more. And then also put a little bit more glue on the crack. Then you will place it directly down. Let me just get another, let me get a crock for y'all, honey. And this is not the crock we're gluing it to. Then after you put the, the glue on the back of here and on the back of here, you just will put your charm in place and you will hold it. Me personally, because this is a heavier piece, um, I would not glue this directly to my crock. That's me. I'm not telling you what to do. I would definitely turn this into a gibbet, okay? I would turn this into a gibbet. For anybody who don't know what a gibbet is, these are gibbets on here. So I'll pop one out for you. We sell these as well on the website. I'm going to cover up half of it. Okay, so we sell these as well on the website. But when I say gibbet, I'm just talking about uh, the back piece. The back piece that's on here is what is considered the actual back piece to make it to a gibbet. So for those personally, when I'm thinking heavy, I like to secure with a gibbet piece. I don't like to put heavy pieces directly onto the crock itself. So now I showed y'all the metal to metal, okay? So now we're three pieces in, okay? And now finally, I hope y'all not out of frame because I can't really see y'all at all. I'm just winging this video. I felt the need, like I said, I wasn't even planning on doing a YouTube video today. But because I was checking all the messages and I saw so many of y'all ask me, I said, why not? I was actually supposed to be doing a room tour for y'all today. But hey, that's coming soon. Um, I haven't even had a chance to, to straighten up the room. I might just give y'all a tour like it is and it is what it is. Okay. So anyway... We, these little wax pans, for anybody who doesn't know what these are, these are wax pans. It has a wax tip on the end. And for anybody who wears nails or just have a hard time picking up little pieces, this is what this do. So you will get, oh, I'll just pick one up off the paper if y'all can see. <laughs> it just helps you pick it up. It sticks to the pen, okay? So now, I'm just, that was just me giving more information as I love to do. So now with these, sticking these to the crock, uh, I'm not going to sit here and scrape each and every one of these. Yes, it is a flat surface. Okay. It is a, okay, so now it's a little stone stick. Okay, here we go. So yes, as you can see, hold on, let me get in the frame. 
it is a flat surface y'all it is i don't know if it's blurry or not but if you can see that it is flat this piece is flat but it's small and it's very light so you can use the e6000 or the mixed metal uh, i mean the mixed media adhesive for these and it will work perfectly fine the key is do not overuse the glue because i know a lot of people like to put too much glue on theirs you don't need a lot of glue when you're stoning you need your pen you need a speck of glue either on the back of your piece or already on the shoe where you're putting it in place and you just press down like i said you can use any of these glues advanced people i would suggest you can just use this all the way through advanced crackers designers use this all the way through it's going to make your job so much easier um for me personally like i said i'll use either one of these um when i was definitely in the beginning um but the key once again because i get some of y'all that said mine didn't stick mine didn't stick even through dms all the time on instagram it will stick you have to use a little glue you don't have to put any friction you will place it directly down wherever you're at if you and i don't want this on mine so i'm not gluing but you will place it directly down like that onto your glue if you had glue there and you will allow your whole entire shoe once again to dry people want to rush this process you cannot rush the process you have to allow your stones and pieces to dry fully i understand your customers are on your back i understand you don't accepted all these orders but be patient get a good policy in place and inform your customers that it takes time and even with every measure and precaution we take they still can fall off okay they're not cemented I, i'll say that a thousand times um but yeah that's pretty much it y'all these are the glues i use they're all available on the website i use the mixed media i use the e6000 and i use now that i'm more advanced i use the the jury metal glue because it's quicker it dries fast um, and it's good for metals, flats, whatever you want to use it for, you pretty much can use it and it dries clear. I use these two still to this day, even though I don't use them as much as this, but I do still like to bring out my, my beginners, um, and still my faves to this day. I still use these. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this video really helps you understand. No, you do not have to sand your Crocs itself. If you're new and you heard that, you do not have to do that. If you want to, sis, I'm not stopping you. I will suggest you do anything that doesn't have uh, friction, like a planner. If you're using stuff like these cute little pieces, I will suggest you add a little friction to it, whether you're adding it to your back piece or directly to the crop. I add mine to back pieces, so I still add friction either way I go. Um, I showed y'all the motion that helps you kind of get it down, and then you still apply pressure, and this is the best for that. Um, when you're using metal pieces, I already told you which glue I use for that and how I do it. You can rewatch this video. You can pause it a thousand times. You can do whatever you want to do, okay, sis? So just make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, okay? Because we're growing over here, honey. Yes, um, I'm able, I'm actually able to put something on my uh, community tab. So I'm happy for that. I'm probably going to post on my community tab that this video is going up, uh, this week, um, I might even do it as a premiere to try that out. I'm not sure how that goes, but I'm really uh, loving helping y'all. And obviously, y'all really enjoying the video. So if you're not already, like I said, and you find this video helpful, um, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you go back and watch some of the other videos. And give me your feedback in the comments. Let me know if this video really helped you. Let me know if you're going to try some of these glues. And let me know um, if you agree or not. Like, if you already use these and you feel like they're helpful to you, let me know, sis. Let's start the conversation in the comments. I do respond to my comments. I just may not respond right away because if you're not following me on Instagram over at Go Lucky Charms and you know your sis is busy and I just dropped a, a new business, which I'm not going to share with y'all yet because um, I want to do a video on that. But if you're following me on Instagram, then you already know. So thank y'all so much for the support over there already. But yeah, this is it, y'all. I really hope that helped. Um, watch the video all the way through replay do whatever you got to do but i'm out girls let me know in the description what y'all want to see next and i do have uh the good news coming to y'all the new business um i'm going to shoot that video and i'm going to be doing a room tour 
um basically just not showing y'all how i organize or anything just showing y'all the hot mess that i work in but i get it done in <laughs> so start with where you at sis follow me over at go lucky charms on instagram make sure y'all click in the link in the website so y'all can shop 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 and it's to the next time and to the next video peace